So I already showed you guys how to add ads into your game, but there is no point of adding ads if you don't publish the game to Google Play or Apple App Store. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of publishing a Unity game to Google Play Store. So first, you'll need to make sure that you have the modules installed. So under your Unity installed, go to add modules and make sure that you have Android build support and also Android SDK and NDK tools and open JDK. Now, currently the SDK API level that is required to upload the game to Google Play Store is level 29 and the default installed version with Unity is level 28. So you'll need to install level 29 to publish to Google Play. There's going to be a link in description how you can go about installing level 29 API. After you're done with that, we can continue on. So in my game, I'm going to go to build settings, make sure that I have Android platform selected, go to player settings. And at the very top, we have the company name. So I'll switch it to smart penguins, your product name, version, and then the default icon. So I have an icon that I'm going to use, select that and now I have an icon. Now you can go to the other settings and under here some things I need to do is change my package name. So I'm going to use IO Smart Penguins. You can change the version here and also the bundle version code. Bundle version code you'll need to increment each time you upload a file to Google Play. So that's the value that is required to change to upload updates for your game. Then right here we have the target API level. And currently it's set to automatic, highest installed. I'll switch it to API level 29. So make sure you go through the process of installing a level 29 API because it's currently required to have a level 29 to upload to Google Play. Here under configurations, we have scripting backend and currently it's set to mono. To upload to Google Play, you will need to switch that to the IL2 CPP. And the reason we need to switch that is so that the ARM64 architecture would be available for us. So we need to check that off so that our game will be built with both architectures. Now we'll need to go and check the publisher settings. Under publishing settings, to publish to Google Play, we need to create a key that we will use to sign the game before we upload it to Google Play. To create a key, we can use the key store manager, open that up and then we'll create a new one. So create a new anywhere. I'll just leave the default user key store. Then we need to type in a password and confirm the password. And the second portion is for the new key that we're creating in the key store. I'll name my key KTG and the second password for the key. You can add more information here if you like. I'll just keep it as default, click add key and I want to set them as the project key store. Click yes. And the key gets created and added to the project. Each time you restart Unity, you'll need to re-enter the password so that you can build the project. After we're done with that, we are ready to build our game. So if you're using Bolt, there's an option under Bolt that you have AOT ahead of time pre-build. Go ahead and pre-build it. That's only the case if you're actually using Bolt Visual Scripting for your game. To upload to Google Play, I use the App Bundle. So select that and click Build. You can name your file, click Save, and the app is going to start building. While the app is building, we can go to Play Console and set everything up. After you have Google Play Console, we can create an application here. Name our project, click Create and fill out the uh, required information. So we need short description and full description, high resolution of our icon, which is a 512 by 512. So we can drag our icon in there. Then we need at least two screenshots and I made two screenshots already. So you can drag and drop those in. Also need a feature graphic and then I've created one. So we can drop that one in and we need to select the application type game and the category select casual we'll need to do content writing and we need to put in an email so that the users can contact us in some cases save draft and now we can go under application release 
in application release, we have the production track and then we have the open track for beta testing and closed track for alpha testing, internal testing and other options. I'm just going to go and go through the production. The other ones are almost identical to this process. So let's create a release. Then we are asked if we want Google Play to manage our signing key. You can opt out of it, but I use Google's sign key. So click continue. And after you click continue, you'll be able to drop your app bundle here. You can find the app bundle wherever you stored. It should be .aab file. Drop that in and wait for it to upload. After the upload is done, Google is going to start processing a file and confirm that it's a right file with the right configuration. And it will give you errors if there's something wrong with it. So my file was all good. I can see that uh, Android app bundle version code one is successfully uploaded and it's listed right here. So the release name was pulled from the version that I had. So point one, you'll need to write what's new in this release. So I'll just say new game since everything is new here. So click save and to publish, we'll need to check off the other check marks that we have here. So there's three more. So content rating, you'll need to go through that and rate your game. Answer all the questions that are here. Click save questionnaire, calculate rating and apply rating. So we got that one checked off. Go to the next check mark app content. And here we have some more things that we need to complete. So a privacy policy, you'll need to provide a URL to your privacy policy. And now we have to do the ads. So let's go do that. Yes, my application contains ads, click save, then app access, all functionality is available without specific access, click save, and target audience, click start, check the check marks that are applied to your game, answer if your game can appeal to children. So click yes, click save, we're done with that. And the last thing that we have left is the pricing and distribution. This application is free. You can select which countries are available, select all of them, contact guidelines and US export laws. Check those and click save draft. After all of that is done, we can go back to app release, edit release and click on the review button right here. And now I have the option of start rollout to production. You can click on that, click confirm. And now you just need to wait for Google to review your app. After Google reviews it, the app is going to be live in the Play Store. So that's it. That's the whole process of publishing your game. Now, when you'll be making updates to your game, some things that you need to change is your version name. So you can say version 0.2, but the required one that you need to change is the bundle version code. Each time you upload a file to Google Play, you need to increment this number. If I make any more changes and want to upload the next version, I'll need to increase it to three and so on. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.